Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use variables with uh, just a little bit of design. So I'm going to create a text object. Actually the first thing I need to do is go into settings, variable overview or control alt v um, and create the variable. I've already created one here called v show. Um, so I'm just going to come back out here. I'm going to create a text object saying show pivot. Go into font, I'm going to change the color here and underline it. I'm just going to drag it over to the just above here. Let's go into properties again. I'm going to go in and make it transparent so it looks a little bit better. So you can see now we have a like a it's basically like a button, but I'm just going to go back into properties. Um, I need to add an action to this to basically show what we want to show. Uh, so I'm going to add an action in external. I'm going to set the variable. And the variable will be show. And the value is 1. Then go into layout. Uh, show conditional. V show equals 0. So at the moment, this doesn't do anything. Just. Um, when you click it, it doesn't do anything because we haven't set any variables to the other uh, couple of objects here. The first one, actually, I'm going to go into properties of the pivot table and say v show equals one. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go into um, this text object. So I've already created. In this text object, basically. Um, there's inbuilt images, and I was able to get that from a posting by Barry Harmson at www.clickfix.com. Um, he actually, there's a book coming out on November 15th, I think, or the middle of November of 2012, um, called ClickView 11 for Developers. You need to check that out. This guy knows what he's talking about. Um, so basically... This is an inbuilt image that I was able to get from some of the po uh, a posting that um, Barry made. So at the moment, it's the representation is text. So I'm going to change that to image. I'm going to click OK. I'm just going to resize it. Go back into properties. Um, layout, I'm going to say V show equals zero. Sorry, equals one. I'm going to add an action, set the variable, v show equals zero, and back into properties again, I'm going to go into, sorry, general, I'm going to make that transparent, just going to drag that then, just in the corner of the pivot table, back into properties again I'm gonna go into layout and I'm gonna say top so that it's above the so if I click this button you know you can see that it's closed not just that object but the pivot table and if I click on show pivot it's gonna show um, the pivot table and the, the button to clear it so again once again I'm just gonna click into um, Go into the website for Barry Harmson, clickfix.com. You can see announcing ClickView 11 for developers, the book. I'd advise you, as soon as it comes out, yeah, actually, I was right November the 15th. Um, I'm going to pick one up, or maybe I'll get a free copy off Barry. I don't know. I don't even know the guy, but uh, hopefully I will. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'll see you next video.